29-year-old Amber Scott only eats French fries. Devouring over 56 kilos of deep-fried French fries each and every month. She said 150 kilograms? Isn't that like $10 million worth of cocaine? I'm just saying that's a whole lot of French fries, more than I've eaten in probably three years. With the amount of French fries you've eaten, you've probably consumed about four pots worth of that grease. And honestly, that's me being generous. What's up, boys? It's Bumpkin, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So, somebody sent me this thinking maybe I'd like to make a video on it, and of course, you were absolutely right. Why wouldn't I? Like, this woman is at least in her late... 30. She's a grown adult addicted to french fries. That's hilarious to me. To this day, I'll always wonder how she built up to this point. Like, you had to eat literally nothing while you were living with your family. Even if you were, do you not miss older foods? Do you not miss that? Just like, anyway, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. You guys already know the negotiation. I make these continuously, and you leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. Yearly, that's the equivalent of 6,000 potatoes, 115 potatoes every single week. Amber eats french fries breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do you also eat fries, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? All right, let me chill out. But on a real note, for someone that's eating french fries, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, she's not looking too bad compared to you. Let's just keep it a stack. I'm going to be honest. It looks like you might need to start following the potato, breakfast, lunch, and dinner diet. Like Smell, color, and texture are also important. A lot of the times fries will have a burnt end like this. That is definitely something that I cannot eat. So I will take that and pinch it off. I'm going to keep it 100. Do you really have any sort of room to complain? You are eating straight up starch all damn day and you're worried about the little burnt piece the inside of your body is probably becoming a sack of potatoes right now but you're worried about burning your fries like you're worried about the texture of your fries if i held up every single bit of those types of fries over your head while a completely different type of fry was on the other end of the room are you getting those other fries or are you gonna sit there and jump up in the air while i hold these above your head it sounds like i could stomp out your favorite type of fries and you would still eat them you know as long as there were no other fries in the room of course somebody put her in a room with all fruits and vegetables only and then one bag of fries that I just kicked around the room for 30 minutes while she watched. Let's see what happens. And stick it underneath the napkin and then eat the rest of the fry. I will feel even a little euphoric after eating fries. I'm not sure what it is about them that makes them so good, but <laughs> I like the way they make me feel. Jesus Christ, when's the honeymoon? When are you guys getting married? What the fuck was that? I'm not gonna lie to you. She just got a little bit orgasmic about it, and I'm not feeling comfortable. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know what they're putting in your batch of fries specifically, but I think someone is trying to set you up. Somebody call Rue and take her to jail because this is clearly her doing. Why do you think that you're only reaching for those french fries? So these are the two geezers that are going to be helping her with her french fry addiction. This guy looks like his name is Vincent. I feel like he would help aid the addiction instead of helping it. I feel that there is something beyond oh, I don't want to eat that. That's, I mean, that's definitely not it because yeah. I do want to eat it. And there are foods that I have sat down and have tried. What happens? I, I throw it up. See, this makes no goddamn sense to me. I don't know how this happens to her. Have you ever heard the thing? You eat too much of something, eventually you're going to resent it. She just stopped eating everything but fries and is now like in love with fries romantically sexually intimately like it's weird you ate fries so much that your body was like everything else is dog ass compared to this you throw up water i couldn't imagine her eating a grape and then calling it repulsive honestly that would make me want to slap someone in the face so i'm hearing you do want to try to eat healthy yes i've tried but you can't i can't i definitely am leaning more towards the fact that it's it's medical because i know that i'm what i'm doing is not a choice i mean listen if you're choosing not to eat the burnt part of the fry i think it is a choice see people that are addicted to crack cocaine black tar heroin don't care where it's been where it comes from or how to get it. if you were really having a problem and you just couldn't help yourself with those fries you demolish them burnt or not to be honest i just think you were a chicken tender eating child from jump and you never got out of that and now you just eat fries like you you decided fuck the chicken nuggets those aren't even good anymore i want fries only you sound like my little brother he's like five before amber tackles a completely new taste dr dow starts with a familiar food but only looks a little different. Bro, is this actually necessary? These look like the damn pretty patties from that SpongeBob episode. This shit is ugly. Like, I'm expecting those blue ones to taste like a fruit, and they're not gonna taste like a fruit. That would piss me off. She's literally just gonna go for those yellow ones and then throw the rest of them against the fucking wall. Like, you guys are stupid. She doesn't even like black on her food. What makes you think she's gonna like any of these other colors? She's racist. Changing their color makes me feel uneasy. See, what I tell y'all, racist. I would like for you to taste one of the red french fries. I feel like this is not a baby step. 
and this is not where I would have chosen to start. Where would you have chosen to start? Honestly, this is about as baby step as it gets. What, did we just shove half of a nugget inside of a plethora of fries for you so you can just scarf them all down until you don't notice? What's the, what's the game plan for you here? I really think this is not a baby. Like, where the fuck else do we go here? This is about as babyish as it gets. Your fries are multicolored. You're a toddler, unironically. Yuck. There was a real yuck face when you put that in your mouth. It wasn't pleasant. But it also wasn't extremely unpleasant. Right. You know, I'm watching this and I just refuse to believe that this isn't a joke. I'm going to be honest with you. It wasn't pleasant. Was the fry not as good that time? Maybe it's because they had to douse it in Red 40. Like, I had to go look up and make sure it was actually called Red 40 and it was. That was amazing. Most amazing thing I've ever done today, honestly. If you think I'm lying, I'm so serious. I wouldn't tell you if I didn't actually guess it right. Like, I'm impressed with myself right now. Like, honestly, could you taste the fry and all that dye? Let's, let's talk about that. It looks like a hot Cheeto in your hand. I'm just convinced they power washed it with red. What are you feeling right now by looking at that blue fry? Remorse, hatred, sadness, regret. I really do think she's regretting doing this. It looks like a dead blue finger. The average person may say, eating a blue french fry is no big deal. You know, why is she crying over this? But you have to understand that for Amber, emotionally, it's like jumping out of an airplane. If you just close her eyes and tell her the fry she picked up is regular and the way she likes it, she would demolish it no problem. Just blindfold her and be like, go ahead and just take a bite of some of your fries. Oh, my fries? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy them? Because they were all in my ass. Here. I want to give you a huge amount of credit. Fuck you. It just sounds like you're trying to get her number after this. Good job. You ate the blue fry, something you've never done in like 40 years, but it, you could have lived your whole life without eating a blue fry if you just ate any other food. You know, who knew she would be so emotional and so uptight over just one color? Doesn't that sound wild to you? After a day of intense therapy, intense therapy, I thought the easiest step for her to make was to stay within the deep fried and then try new tastes in that fashion. Yeah, see, compared to whatever that baby bullshit was, this is intense therapy. This is what we would call a big step. You're about to go from fries to filet mignon. Did you see that restaurant? I'll be real with you guys. I'd get kicked out for wearing what I usually wear every day. I'm getting that vibe. JJ orders a variety of different vegetables, ranging from the familiar like potato to the unfamiliar such as carrots, asparagus, and mushroom. If any of you fucking monsters are eating mushrooms this big, I really do think you just shouldn't get food anymore. You don't deserve to eat. You want food? Go outside. Go outside and grab a mushroom. This is ridiculous. Are mushrooms that good to people? I feel like I couldn't eat that entire mushroom the way it's made right now. I would throw up. I don't know. Mushrooms are not that good to me. I was apprehensive on so many levels. What does it smell like? It smells like a potato in canola oil. Now, whether it smells like a french fry. But we have something in the ballpark of familiar, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, she's probably saved a a whole lot of money only eating fries her entire life are you on uh extreme cheapskates as well could also be on another show with fears there's a show with fears somewhere right you're afraid of every other food except for potatoes honestly you could bag up off of this why have you not finessed all of these tv show companies out of their money that you could do that easily i'm afraid of every single food except for potatoes i have an obsession with potatoes i only eat potatoes in order to save money like easy 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 you're gonna have to like live a fake extra cheap life for the cheapskate one because i don't think you only eating potatoes qualifies but it doesn't matter find you a small empty apartment rent it out for like two months don't put anything in it except for potatoes easy money i don't think this is food i don't think it's anything I'm gonna kill you no but i mean eating dirt won't kill me it doesn't mean it's a good idea i'm so mad at how much sense that kind of made even then this is your favorite food that you're talking shit upon like you eat these you know that they're just cut up in a little squiggly zigzags all silly and fun for you like the reason why you don't enjoy any other food is because you look at it and you get depressed like eat something regular for once one time if we just threw a smiley face over all your meals would you eat them honestly that would freak me out i think i was on acid bon appetit Jesus, those potatoes are real life destroying her soul right now. She would honestly be the best food critic in the world. If you can give her a meal that tastes good to her that isn't some french fries, some wacky ass little french fries, you won. You're the best chef in history. Gordon Ramsay couldn't impress her. Sure as hell doesn't know how to perfect the meal she likes. I feel like she would still tell him no if he replicated those fries. I feel like they have to be those. She would slip up and try to get two five star with a garnish it and then she would give him a fucking one.
You failed. She would request a trash can for insult to injury and just start vomiting profusely in it. Sorry, that was like really nasty. That tasted like sod. How the hell would you know what sod tastes like? You don't eat anything. To keep moving forward, JJ suggests another mild tasting vegetable, a carrot. Just turn this into the most menacing, threatening carrot in the universe. Like, this carrot could probably get its own Marvel movie the way they just cinematically antagonized it. You gave a shit about WandaVision? Bitch, carrot would win. Yeah, and you failed. <laughs> Kara W, dummy. And you're okay. So what did you teach yourself today, Amber? I didn't teach myself anything. None of this came as a surprise. You look really angry at us right now. I'm angry because... What, did you, you know, what do you want me to do right here? I'm, I'm trying, but... But when you actually go to eat it, you spit it out. You know who else does that? A toddler. Toddlers do that. You know why? Because they eat it and they're like, Man, this isn't the best thing in the world. I don't want it anymore. This isn't sweeter than ice cream i don't want it anymore just eat the fucking food i will literally sit there and destroy a bowl of carrots in front of her and be like if you don't eat one all the fries in your home they're mine and you're not gonna get them back and i love how pissed off she is at them like she's not the one over here complaining about every food possible you refuse to eat anything and you're pissed off we got a whole camera crew here dumb bitch and you're pissed off we're trying to cure you we're trying to help you and you're pissed off we will walk out this hoe right now and pay you nothing for eating those carrots you could really get scammed for your efforts so how about you shape up and start eating some carrots all right then our intention is not to get you mad it is to help you to move forward i want to get the hell out of here I am seriously pushed to my limit for today, guys. And after that extremely emotional scene, it just ends. That was, that was like the end of the video, to be honest. If I can find the next one or some progress, I'll definitely let you guys know and we'll react to it the second I get it. Can somebody tell me why she started crying, though? They didn't even make you eat anything that time. You just started tearing up. Is everything okay? She made it sound like she was entrapped inside a purgatory. Like, you're at a restaurant. You can leave whenever you want. You could walk out without them right now. What are they gonna do? Grab your arm? Is everything okay? But on that note, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, be sure to comment down below so I can go hard it. While you're at it, go follow my Instagram and my Twitter. And you guys have a wonderful day. Peace, peace.